guys, I'm here with AJ and brought to you back by popular demand. We're gonna interview him and show you this amazing ring. So AJ, let us know what you got going on here. Awesome, this is AJ from GP Factor. We're here at the Jeep Invasion with OK4 Wheel Drive and AUCAP. And we're gonna go over my Gladiator and with the AUCAP Canopy Camper. So we can kind of start with the, uh, I guess the camper, the lift kit first. What do you, what do you guys want to do? Uh, lift kit. Let's lift do, kit let's first. Do lift kit. So we knew we were going to do the camper on the Gladiator. So we got a Gladiator Five. Rubicon 2020 and we outfitted it with a Clayton Off Road a um, two and a half slash three and a half inch Overland kit that they have. We also outfitted it with uh, the Falcon shocks, uh, the 3.3, so we could adjust them, make them nice and firm in the rear because of the weight of the camper, and uh, keep them nice and soft in the front for a better ride. Uh, if we go around to the front of the vehicle, we also did the ARB bumper. We wanted a full width bumper where we'd have be able to put our winches, our full size lights for off roading and whatnot, and uh, wanted to keep it simple but also keep it like a nice clean look and, and very uh, functional. So we went with the ARB intensity lights and the ARB front bumper with the Warren Xeon. Uh, this thing's dirty. Yeah. It's yeah, not it's, going it's nowhere. Really beefy, yeah. yeah, they do it right because they have you trim your crush cans, uh, which go right here. So you kind of keep all your same semi-factory safety you know, features, but it's, it's really beefy. Um, it, can, it can definitely take a hit. So, kind of working back, we didn't really do much else to the front of the vehicle. Um, we did re-gear it to 488s to be able to handle the bigger 37-inch uh, BFG tires that were running with, with the method of 701 wheels. And we did re-gear it to 488, um, so that made a big difference. Um, because obviously with the engine kind of running away, you want it to run with a bigger tire and the weight of the camper and everything, so. How are you liking these shocks? Because I've seen these on a lot of Overland rigs as well. I really like them a lot. Um, you know, you kind of have to find your spot that you like in the ride quality and how it works with the springs you have. So we found that we really like a, a middle setting in the front and like in the two where you can really adjust it. And then we run the full firm in the rear because of the weight of the camper. And these are the Falcon Series 3. Correct, yeah, they're the 3.3, so they're, they're adjustable and um, and they make those for JTs, JLs, uh, JKs. Uh, I think they actually do some now for Tacomas even too and other, other vehicles, so. Let's talk about all the good stuff now. Yeah, good stuff, this is yeah. what you guys want to see. So we got the awning deployed right now. So uh, Adicab is a company out of South Africa. It's imported right into Stewartsville, New Jersey, not too far from here. And um, this is our canopy camper. So it's an all aluminum shell camper. Uh, it's, it's pretty lightweight, but it's it's initially kind of like a DIY type setup. You can really configure it how you want to. And uh, my company, GP Factor, and other companies like Goose Gear specifically make kits for the camper um, and different parts and things you can get for it. So it gives customers a lot of options for things that they want to do to their camper. They kind of customize it for their needs. Uh, the most popular is what you see here. This is the five, the five foot bed campers. And they do a six foot bed version too for the longer Tacoma beds. Uh, or, or Rangers or Colorados. So kind of working, you can see, we'll do the awning first, you can see that this is their 270 degree shadow awning. And uh, it's one person deployment, swings all the way around, you can put it away really quick. It's a nice, uh, like it's almost like a sunproof or UV proof fabric. So. Yeah, it's very much, very cool yes. in here. You can definitely tell yeah. the temperature difference yeah. just from stepping in and out. Correct, it's, yeah. Wow. Yeah, it makes a big difference. I mean, they made these to deal with a lot of the heat that they have down in South Africa and, and a much more, you know, harsher uh, climate down there. So um, it's very sturdy, very durable, and um, it's, we love having it. It's just great for days like today. So. Absolutely. And it's waterproof too, so, you know, if it starts to rain, you can keep all your Everyone cooking Everyone takes shelter. Here. Exactly. So working our way in, the canopy campers have these nice big doors that open up, so you can oh, wow. get the whole thing opened up and nice airflow going through the whole thing. And uh, what's nice, we like to use it almost like a little bar setup. So if we're cooking out here, you know, we might be kind of working in here. If somebody's in here doing something with like the stove or the fridge or whatever. So a uh, couple things we do, we add it to it from, from my company, GP, is the, mo the molly panels for the doors for more storage. So it just attaches right to that. Uh, we have, if you come into the inside here, the entire camper right here is run by, this is an entire electrical system that we, we built for the campers and it controls all your, everything you want from your chargers, your cell phone chargers in here, USB chargers, the water pump, uh, the lights, the camper lights, the fans, the, the fireplace down here, the fridge as well. So everything runs right from here. 
Uh, and, and obviously your solar power comes in through here as well. And we'll show the, show the solar power on the top of the roof later I then. I love all these patches. They're amazing. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you sort of acquire them over the years, you know, all the different places and people you've met and done and seen. And so it's, uh, I'll kind of climb in here a little bit and I don't know if you want to climb in with me or not. That's fine. Okay. We'll do the rear door first, I guess. So, uh, we'll start from here. Working back, uh, rear door, we make a lot of storage systems for it. So we have a Molly system for it right here for attaching your pouches. And then this is, we have a couple different tables that we do for the campers at GP. This is our full size version. And so you guys make these just Correct. to let everyone know that if they're looking for something like this in their rig, where the, where should they go? You guys have social media. Correct. You can follow us at gp-factor.com. Um, you can probably find it on the IUCAB USA website as well. Uh, but yeah, GP specifically, these are specific products for the campers. So there's a full size table, then we do half tables that are about this size as well. So for people that want to do like a split level table or just do one single table, so. And this is this is not going anywhere. This is no, it's pretty, extremely sturdy. Yeah, very sturdy. It's all food grade stainless, so it's uh, you're ready for cooking on and doing anything else you'd want to do on it. Uh, working into the camper, uh, we'll, we'll talk about the Goose Gear system. So Goose Gear is a company we do a lot of work with. They make custom cabinetry for rigs and different flooring type setups. So this entire floor here is a plate system that they put in. And then this is a custom cabinetry that they built for the camper specific. So you've got your nice pull out drawer systems to store stuff in. And uh, and you've got your top open drawers over here for storing as well. They also incorporate these platforms. You can see they're above the fridge and there's two more of them that come down and this makes it a sleep platform. So in our case, we have two small children that love that will my wife and I will sleep up here and our kids will sleep down here when we go camping so everybody gets to stay in the camper so goose gear then also does a really nice fridge slide um, we wanted to keep our fridge back here and the fridge slide allows it to um, your fridge to come out so you don't have to reach oh, well, climb into your neat. camper to get to it so when you want to get your food and drinks and whatever it's all right there just release it and stick it back in. I love the simplicity and the streamline of everything. Like, everything yep. is, is made to fit, yep. and I like that. So what's cool about the campers especially too is that um, you know you can live out of this with the, even with the bed, because you fold the bed up out of the way when you're not using it. Mm -hmm. So if you guys want to climb in here, I can show you the bed system. So the bed is up, is up yeah, a little, little tight, but this is a full size bed. So pretty much um, it'll sleep two people very comfortably. It's it's very long down here. And you can fold down the back section, just get a little extra leg room if you want it. And then if we can all kind of push this out of the way here. Watch the camera here. So this wow. is how you, you, you live up in here then when you're, you know, when you're not, uh, not sleeping. And so, what do we got going on here? This is exciting. So this is a 13 gallon water tank. Um, so this tank is uh, is connected uh, to the we have a hose line over there with a water pump, which we'll show you for the shower. And it's got a gravity water flow over here. So if you just need to get some little bit of running water, just kind of you can wash some up, dishes, fill up a water bottle, you can do it right there. Or if you need pressurized water, you can use it over there. And it holds 13 gallons, and it's uh, it's a great place because there was this is a great spot to stick it because there wasn't a. It's so, out of the way. Yeah. And that's something IUCAD made specifically for that, so obviously it's a very purposeful. And their, this is their made design. specifically for the Gladiator, or is this? That's made specifically for the camper. Okay. So, yeah, these campers, the Canopy Camper, is made for works for the, the Gladiators, the Ford Rangers, the Toyota Tacoma, and the um, Chevy Colorado, the Bisons. So, and they're going to start doing them for full sizes as well now too. So. So yeah, that's pretty much the inside here. We can come around to the side and I'll show you the show you the fireplace. So a couple things in the back side here uh, before we get to the fireplace. Uh, we make a set of, if you're all familiar with Max Tracks, it's a recovery boards. Uh, GP, we make a set of uh, pins that are specifically meant to hold on Max Tracks. We make it, they, we do ones for spare tires, we do ones for roof racks, and this pin set we have goes in the rear door so people can store their recovery gear because you know, when you got a rig this big you really want to make sure you have the best options for recovery gear so and then coming through the back here we have our blue ridge trash bag just hanging off the back there just pretty much everywhere we go is pack in pack out don't leave anything with you make sure you clean up the trails don't right. litter right and then uh probably the most things we get the most questions about is this chimney sticking off the back of it so 
some people have thought it was an air fryer or, or a stove or something. It's actually a to our Dickinson fireplace. So, fireplace. yeah, GP Factor, we make a kit for this little Dickinson um, propane fireplace. It's originally meant for sailboats and other marine boats. And we made a, um, a kit for it so it could fit in the camper. Look at that. Yeah, and then the chimney itself is the intake and the and the exhaust, so it's not sucking any of the air out of here. So you get nice, dry, radiant heat inside, which is also nice in the winter time because you don't get a lot of con condensation like you would get in normal tents. Right. So, yeah. What about AC? You don't have any AC unit here. No though. AC unit right now. No, I guess the fan's the best thing we have for AC. So yeah. yeah. And um, new thing we did. We, Doing, releasing here in about a, about a month or so is a window kit we did for the campers as well. So this nice. was you can open that up. Yep. Yeah. This was at request of uh, a lot of uh, a lot of uh, customers that want to have a little bit extra air and also wanted to be able to le uh, have their furry friends if they're if they're traveling with them they can stay back in the camper when they're traveling and still have you know, awesome. a window and everything. So. It's very consumer friendly. It's made for the people that are using it. That's yep. what's in mind, and I, I'm impressed. Yeah, and you can kind of pick what you need. You know, some people, you know, might may not some, need that. Exactly. Right. Some people might not need, you know, the window. Some people might want screens or might not want them. You know. And like anyone could comfortably stand up in this. Like once you don't need to use the bed, it's what are we talking about here? Like. 20 feet? Like, oh yeah, what at, we, least, at, at least, least at least 9 or 10 feet, yeah. It's it's definitely plenty high. So, um, And then the shower. This yes. is, we get asked this all the time. Exactly. What are you going to do when you're out on the road more than a week? Yep. You're taking a two week road trip. How yep. are we going to shower? So we ran a vacuum pump right underneath here. It's in the cabinet uh, right now. And um, ran one of those uh, slinky hoses, I guess. And we wanted it to run the shower cube here. And what the shower cube is, it's a privacy tent, essentially, that you can even yeah, This is what shower. I want for the truck. Yeah. A shower, we use it for a shower, we use it for a, a, a privacy room for, for changing or a bathroom. And, um, yeah, it's a really, really, really nice setup. What? All of that comes out of that little bag? That's nuts. Wow, that's big. You, uh, oh, I have to try this. I'm going in. You'll just stake down the uh, all the cables in the bottom, and you've got your, your privacy tent for, uh, for a shower. Yeah. <laughs> How cool! Woo! Very freeing. Yeah. So the vacuum pump will just run right off the water tank, and uh, we just hook up a regular hose, and it gives us, uh, you know, r running water. So that's, that's awesome. Super neat. Yeah. And it's multi-purpose. You can do your portable mm -hmm. toilet in there. You can shower, like you said. You can yep. change. And then when you're all said and done, just pack it up and it goes right back onto the yeah. the camper. We have, some, we have some friends that um that can um camp on the beaches down in um, North Carolina, mm -hmm. in the Outer Banks, and 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 South Carolina as well. And so they'll they love it because when they're camping on the beach, they'll go in the water, but they still want to shower before they go to bed, so they can just rinse off right there. So that's amazing. Yeah, we haven't tried the Outer Banks yet, but we're in Asheville, so it's oh it's nice. like a five okay, or six cool. hour drive, but yeah. we we want to do it. We want to camp out there. Awesome. It's gonna be exciting. So you guys will see that video sometime soon, hopefully before it gets too cold. Yeah. You guys are, um, uh, there's a, a dealer for, for these, for anybody, especially in your area, is Asheville Vehicle Outfitters. Okay, yeah, a huge, we know them. Huge a huge cab dealer. So, yeah, we'll give a shout out to Eric and those guys. They're awesome down there. We'll make sure to include their social medias as well. So if you guys are in the area or looking for a dealer so you can see these things firsthand, um, those are going to be the guys that you want to reach out to for sure. So perfect. I appreciate. Thank you so much for yeah, like absolutely. giving us a tour of your rig. I'm in love. I'm gonna need to buy a gladiator at this point <laughs> and do all this stuff. Before but we end the video, what's your MPG on this rig right now? Oh because yeah. Of the weight, there is. Yeah. So the the camper itself, with all the contents, this is done. It's got everything you can possibly do right. to it. Um, it weighs about 750 pounds. And um, if we're going somewhere and it's it's myself and maybe one of the person in the car with all of our luggage and everything else. I would say we average between like 16 and 16 and a half. That's not bad. On, not bad. on the highway. But you're re geared. Um, re -geared. You're re geared. You're That's on 37, yeah. so it does, you know, it's a trade off. Yeah. You know, it's a trade off. Uh, the city, I'm not quite sure where the city's at. It's somewhere in the 12 to 14. That's just not depends, bad. you know. 
But guys, uh, smiles yeah. per gallon, not miles per gallon. Yes. So I would <laughs> gladly trade MPGs for this amazing setup. And again, thank you so much. I sure. appreciate yeah. you and your time. Absolutely. And I thank hope you guys. you guys like the video. Make sure that you give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you aren't already. Make sure you follow our friends. All their social media links will be down in the description below. And then stay tuned for the next video. Thank you.